to this issue. On Friday last week, the city of Tuane, one of Gauteng's metros, witnessed the swearing in of a new mayor, Soli Tepang Msimanga. Msimanga was positioned by the Democratic Alliance as the party's mayoral candidate for the city of Tuane for the 2016 local government elections. The party had set its sights on a number of metros, including the city of Tuane, where Msimanga has been serving as a senior councillor. So we joined by him now. Let's cross over to our Hatfield Studios in Pretoria, where Salim Samanga is joining us. Uh, Executive Mayor, it's a very, very good morning to you and welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Lian, and good morning to South Africa. Well, listen, congratulations to you. Um, I, I, to, uh, slightly overdue, but nonetheless, uh, you're going to be in for a, for a, a long and, uh, and, and I imagine hard road ahead. How are you feeling? Oh, yes. Uh, the, the road is uh, not going to be an easy one, but uh, a, a welcome challenge nonetheless. Um, it's still overwhelming, um, you know, to see um, what still needs to be done. Um, and uh, the, the faith that people have put in us. I mean, I've been receiving messages ever since uh, Friday to say, well, you know, you, talk, you spoke about change. Let us see the change that you, you, that you, that you spoke about. Yeah. Um, you know, clean your government. Um, give us opportunities so that we can prosper. Ensure that uh, we get services that we deserve. And make sure that Swanee, you know, is corruption free. And that's what I'm set to do right now. Yeah. Um, I'm already um, lining up uh, meetings with all the departmental heads so that we can actually ensure that uh, we can start delivering um, to our people. And then maybe just to see how we turn around the situation of the finances of the city. Because the city is in a financial mess. But it's, as I said, it's a challenge that uh, we're ready for and it's a challenge that uh, we are going to make sure that uh, we live up to. Yeah. I mean, that, that really is the, 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 the chorus that we're hearing from the new mayors that are coming in. I mean, we're hearing the same from Herman Mashaba. Corruption is his top agenda, wanting to get rid of that. We still need to hear more, obviously, from, from the mayor here in Joburg because, I mean, it was a very l late night and uh, I can imagine there's a lot on his plate. But from your side, is, is, what would you say are your three top priorities moving into this position? Well, um, one would be that we need to turn the, the, the finances of the city around. You would appreciate the fact that, Leanne, you cannot, be, you cannot deliver on anything if you, if you don't have the finances or your finances are not in order. So that's what we need to do. Um, we are also uh, drafting um, uh, uh, performance agreement contracts that each and every worker in the city is going to, to have to sign because we are saying that gone will be the days where employees of the city you know, just don't care about the job that they're doing. We want to appraise those that uh, are doing a good job, but we also want to reprimand those that are taking the jobs for granted. Gone will be the days where if projects are implemented, uh, they go over time, they, there's, there's an overspend on budgets, and then and, 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 uh, projects that are left uh, half done, gone will be those days because we are going to make sure that we can hold people liable for each and everything that they're going to be doing. So that will be number two. But number three, I want to have a clean, safe um, city that is ready for business because we understand that if you have a clean and safe city that your administration is clean um, you will also be able to start attracting investment back into your city so that we can have um, you know most of the people that find themselves unemployed right now getting a bit of uh, employment and that is a priority for me as well mm -hmm. so there needs to be in the first hundred days a new feel about uh, where the city is the city needs to look a little more cleaner than what it is um, there needs to be more visible policing by the metropolis and with cooperation from subs, there needs to be visible policing. And we are also saying that uh, we want to start with the maintenance of whatever infrastructure that needs to be maintained as we'll be rolling out a new um, infrastructure investment into the informal settlements that is still a priority for me to ensure that uh, by the end of the term there should never be an informal settlement that is still connected on illegally um, electricity or water. So those are the key priorities for us right now. Yeah. Also, I can imagine your team of auditors are getting their pencils sharpened and ready to move in and have a look and see the finances because, um, I mean, just, just having a look at, at the finances, I'm not going to put a, a figure to Twane in itself, but I mean, between um, Nelson Mandela Bay, Twane and Joburg, we're talking in excess of five billion rand that's been misspent and, uh, you know, on, on fruitless spending, wasteful expenditure. I know that what you want to come down quite hard on as well is this issue of uh, tenders for friends. And I know that the DA leader as well spoke out quite, uh, quite firmly against this. So how is the system going to run going forward? 
Well, look, I mean, Lian, um, we'll be looking at the procurement offers. I, I intend shaking up the procurement efforts. That's number one. But number two, the tender processes. We have said that uh, um, under our administration, uh, tender processes are going to be opened up to public scrutiny. There will never be tenders that will be awarded, um, you know, in secrecy on passages and all of that. There's going to be um, an open uh, platform where members of the public can come and see when the tenders have been adjudicated. That will close the gap where people, you know, are having um, underhanded deals or things like that. So that is something that we're going to make sure that we, we take care of. I mean, you would have seen on a number of uh, investigative uh, shows a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, the, the rot that is actually taking place in, in, in our procurement office. I'm, I'm, I'm set on cleaning that up. We're going to have a meeting this week still um, going forward and see how we were able to also clean that. But over and above that, we are saying that uh, there will be t uh, contracts that we want to break down into smaller chunks to afford um, you know, young people or to afford uh, young entrepreneurs that don't have the resources right now to compete on a bigger scale. But we are saying we want to give them an opportunity as well to get onto the ladder of, of, of competing uh, for, 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 for contracts. Therefore, we'll be breaking some of the contracts up into smaller chunks to afford, um, um, you know, uh, young entrepreneurs an opportunity, um, you know, to really also get into, into the bidding space. Yeah. There was a little bit of criticism. Um, I think it was in your speech last Friday where you didn't touch on drug abuse and crime, which really are um, two very big headaches for, for Twane. But, but a little bit later on, uh, you, you, you mentioned that you're actually going to be setting up a dedicated narcotics unit with at least four cops per ward dealing with drug lords. Um, let's talk more about this. You know, it is a very big problem. Obviously, perhaps it was an mm. oversight uh, on Friday. We're not mentioning it. But your, your focus on this? Oh, yes. I mean, uh it is quite uh, sad that uh, the disruption that happened on Friday denied the people of Tuan and the people of South Africa to hear what I had to say because actually that is a, a key priority of ours. Uh, but uh, because of the heckling that was taking place, I couldn't really go through everything that I wanted to say. But here's the plan that we have, Lian. We have enough metropolis officers as it is right now in, in our city to deploy 10 metropolis uh, per shift um, in all the wards of, of our city. Therefore, what we are saying is that we are going to have a specialized unit and that deals with, with, with narcotics. And uh, four of the, of the 10 metropolis officers will be um, trained in, 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 in that field of, of, of dealing with drugs. But we're going beyond that. We are also going to be introducing a, a anti-hijack um, unit within the metropolis uh, um, department as well. That will be also dealing with the issues of, 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 of hijack and all of that in our city. But we are also saying that there's going to be a change in the model of how our metropolis officers are working. Um, the gone will be the days of metropolis just hiding behind bushes or under bridges, um, you know, trying to trap motorists. We're not condoning and will not promote lawlessness on the road, but we are saying that our metropolis should also focus on ensuring that our communities are safe, and that's what we're going to be looking at. So we will also look into um, investing on having seven uh, rehab centers around across the city. Um, that will also help those who are now um, uh, drug addicts to come out of the system. But we're also saying that it should not be just rehab centers. We yeah. should be finding a way of linking them to some kind of a skills um, center uh, where we will be able to, once they've gone through the rehab center, also get them into some kind of a skill center. That when they leave there, they don't go back into the same environment that you know they, they were living in before going into a rehab. And that, I think, will, will help also um, to avoid the issues of relapse along the way. Very quickly, Mayor, and I just want to, I want to end off the interview on this note, and, and we really have got less than a minute to go on this. The DA is often criticized for, for not having the genuine interest of black people at heart. I mean, we, we've heard this over and over again, and one of the criticisms with the Cape Town Metro is, again, they feel that uh, the service delivery in black communities is, is always under question. Um, your views on all of this, how, how, how do you plan on changing perceptions? Is this perception true? Are you going to do things differently? Give us a sense of that. Leon, let me start by saying that I wouldn't be here if I felt that that was the case. I wouldn't be here if I knew that that was the case. The facts speak for themselves. The amount of um, money that we put into investing into, into, into our predominantly poor areas or predominantly black areas speaks for itself. I mean, in Kailicha right now, you have the, 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 the best um, clinic or hospital that you can ever find in the, in the southern um, hemisphere that is supposed to be helping our people. And we intend on ensuring that here as well, 
we are going to break the legacy that was left by, 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 by the apartheid system by ensuring that we invest um, in, in bringing um, people of Hamans, Karal Mamelodi, Haranku, Soshanguve um, services that will be equal to that of, uh, of St. Children and the other um, affluent areas. Therefore, what we are saying is that uh, um, we will be, we will invest as much as we, as, as much as we need to, to ensure that we bring people up to speed. And it doesn't matter whether you are black or white, you will get the services that you deserve here in Swan. Okay. I'm going to have to leave it there, unfortunately. It's been a pleasure having you. Sali M. Sumanga, the mayor of uh, the Twani Metro, good luck. We wish you all the best. And no doubt we'll be seeing a lot of you here on the program. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This is also the mayor who has uh, officially banned blue lights in Tuane. No longer blue lights are allowed on the road. The only person who's allowed to use blue lights is the president himself. Other than that, nobody. Quite an interesting one, Pelesa, isn't it?